In this video we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria calculate with money using decimal notation and express money correctly in writing in pounds and pens. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under entry 3. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculator questions and then we'll move to the calculator questions. Here is the first one. These are the amounts Brett will spend on his trip. Travel. £169, hotel £108. Calculate the total of this amount. Show your working and your answer here. So we've got £169 and 108 So adding these two together, 9 and 8 gives us 17. So 7 down, 1 carried over. 6 and 1 is 7. 1 and 1 is 2. So £277. Claire sees these holiday deals. France, £575.35. Norway, £535.50. Germany, £575.99. Spain, £535.75. What is the lowest amount? So they're all above 500. You see the 5 here for all of them. Second digit, which is the tens, we've got 7, we got 3, 7, 3. 3 is lower than 7, that means we've got to focus only on these two to find the lowest amount. So now we need to look at the next digit, that's a 5, and that's a 5 for this, so 535, 535. After the decimal point, we've got a 5 for Norway, we've got 7 for Spain, 5 is lower, so 535 pounds 50 pence is lower than 535 pounds 75 pence. So the lowest amount is 535 pounds and 50 pence. A holiday to Italy costs 675 pounds. Claire sees this offer. Book a holiday to Italy and get 125 pounds off the total cost. How much will the holiday to Italy cost with this offer? Show your working. So 675 pounds. If we take away 125, which is a discount, then we can work out the cost during this offer. 5 take away 5 is 0. 7 take away 2 is 5. 6 take away 1 is 5. £550. Claire buys new clothes and a new suitcase for a holiday. The clothes cost £73.50. The suitcase costs £93.60. How much does she spend in total? So we've got £73.50 and £93.60. We're working out the total. 0 and 0 is 0. 5 and 6 is 11. So 1 down, 1 carried over. Putting the decimal point down. 3 and 3 is 6 and the 1 is 7. 9 and 7 is 16. So 167 pounds and 10 pence. That's the total. Kylie gets a dog from the shelter. She needs pet insurance for her dog. Kylie finds insurance for 16 pounds a month. How much does this cost in total for 12 months? So that is 12 times 16. So 6 times 2, that is 12. 2 down, 1 carried over. 6 times 1 is 6, and the 1 is 7. So we're finished with the unit, put a 0 down. Now we get 1 times 2, which is 2. 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 and 0 is 2. 7 and 2 is 9. 1 and 0 is 1. So 192 pounds for the whole year. Kylie finds another insurance deal. She pays the monthly cost and she pays a deposit in the first month. 
Monthly cost £14.65, pence. deposit £12.50. How much does she pay in total in the first month? So in the first month she will pay the monthly cost as well as the deposit. So we're going to add together £14.65 and £12.50. 5 and 0 is 5, 6 and 5 is 11, so 1 down and 1 carried over. 4 and 2 is 6 and the 1 is 7, 1 and 1 is 2, so 27 pounds, 15 pence. The list shows the money made this year from ticket sales, program sales and refreshments. Ticket sales £425.50, program sales £127.50, refreshments £178. How much money has been made in total from these sales this year? Show your workings. So £425.50, £127.50, £178. Pounds. We're going to add them all together, although you could split them into twos. So, zero, zero, zero. That adds up to zero. Five and five is ten. So, zero down, one carried over. Put a decimal point down. Now we've got five and seven, which is twelve. And the eight, that is twenty. And the one we carried over, that is twenty-one. So 1 down, 2 carried over, 2 and 2 is 4, and the 7, that is 11, and the 2 we carried over, that is 13, so 3 down, 1 carried over, 4 and 1 is 5, and the 1 is 6, and the 1 is 7. So £731. We now move into the calculator questions. Ria has a total of £60 to spend on food. She spends £36.70. How much money does Ria have left to spend? Use correct money format. Show your work in and your answer in the box below. So we're going to do 60 take away £36.70. which is £23.30. So £23.30. Brett works for a printing company. He buys five packs of card. Each pack of card costs £14.06. How much money does Brett pay in total for the packs of card? Use the correct money format. So we've got five packs at fourteen pounds and sixpence each. So we'll do five times fourteen point zero six, and that is seventy point three. Now we know that money has two digits after the decimal point, so seventy pounds thirty. You can add a zero at the end after the decimal point and the three and we'll need to put pounds in front because we're talking about pounds Mina buys the tickets she buys one ticket for three pounds fifty five pence and three tickets for four pounds each what is the total cost so three pounds fifty five pence and the three tickets for four pounds each. So three times four that is twelve. So adding these together five 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 one fifteen pounds fifty five pence and you can check with the calculator. Alex buys lunch, it costs six pounds ninety five pence. He pays with a £10 note. How much change does he get? So we're doing 10 take away 6.95. So 10 take away 6.95 gives us 
3.05 so this is three pounds and five pence this list shows how much each person earns per hour that is in a company we've got claire nine pounds 72 pence per hour alex nine pounds five pence per hour jamil nine pounds 75 pence per hour sarah nine pounds 50 pence per hour which number is the largest so they all get over nine pounds so we need to focus on the first digit after the decimal point on the pence the 10p coins specifically so that's a seven this is a zero seven five we're looking for the largest so that would be seven but there are two sevens so that means we need to look at the final digit last digit so we get two and five five is greater than two so that means jamil is paid the largest amount and that is nine point seven five we can even add the pound sign in front here The cafe had sales of 250 pounds 90 pence in the morning. The cafe had sales of 218 pounds 20 pence in the afternoon. What were the total sales? Round your answer to the nearest one pound. So 250 pounds and 90 pence and then 218 pounds and 20 pence. Adding these together, gives us 469.1 so we need to add a zero at the end to make this 461 pounds and 10 pence we've got to give our answer to the nearest one pound so that means 461.10 will need to be rounded this will be the cutoff point because we need to get a whole number not a decimal so that means we've got to look on the right we've got one in there that means we're going to keep this as 461 pounds we can't go to 462 pounds if we had 50 pence and above not the 10 pence that we have here then we'd round it to 462 pounds as it's below 50 pence we're going to keep it to 461 pounds Rachel has been saving money for the festival. She has saved £15 a week for eight weeks. How much has Rachel saved in total? So eight weeks times £15 gives us £120. Rachel has £90 to spend on festival tickets. Got ticket prices, adult £35.50, child £17.80. She buys one adult ticket and one child ticket. How much money does Rachel have left over? So we've got to add £35.50 and £17.80, the cost of the two tickets. And then we'll take that away from the 90 pounds she has. So let's just do this first step first. 35.5 plus 17.8 gives us 53.3. And that is 53 pounds 30 pence. We'll take it away from the budget, which was 90 pounds. So 90, take away 53 pounds, 30. Gives us 36.7. Again, we need to add a zero there. So 36 pounds, 70 pence. 
Rachel buys one of each of these items at the festival. Adult t-shirt £19.50, child t-shirt £14.25, hoodie £28.50. What is the total cost of these items? So let's add them. £19.50, £14.25, £28.50. Gives us sixty-two pounds twenty-five pence. This should be a plus here. A holiday company advertises these different priced holidays to Spain. A man wants the cheapest holiday. So we've got four different offers. Spain, £662. Then 497 Then 622 And finally, 599 So he's looking for the cheapest one. £662. So that's a six. This is 497 600 500. 400 is the lowest, so 497 is the lowest amount out of them all. So he has these vouchers to pay towards the cost of the holiday. So that's 35 and 35, 20, 20, 20, 20. So we'll need to add these together. 35 plus 35 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 gives us 150 pounds. So we'll do now 497 minus 150. Which is 347 pounds. So it's £347 money to pay. The man wants to know if it's cheaper to go to the airport by train or by car. So obviously this links to a previous question which isn't here. However, it's not really that important. A return train ticket to the airport is £93. There is one third of the price when a ticket is bought in advance. What would the price of the ticket be if he buys it in advance? So one third of one third So what we're going to do is 93 divided by 3 to get the one third. That gives us 31 pounds off. So now we'll do 93 take away 31 which is 62 pounds it is 78 miles to and from the airport the man's car costs 43p per mile to run what is the cost to drive to and from the airport Give units with your answer. So it's 78 miles at 43 pence. So we'll do times 43. 78 times 43 gives us 3,354. Now that is pence. It says give units with your answer, so we could write it as it is, or we could convert it into pounds and write it with the pounds. So we know there are 100 pence in a pound, so if we divide this by 100, it should give us the answer in pounds. So 33 pounds, 54 pence.
The man says if he goes by car, he will pay to park his car in car park 4. Car park 4, that's this one here. The man wants to drive to and from the airport and park his car for a week. The car park charges for seven days, so that should be fine. What will the cost be? That will be £54.43. That's for the car park, but he wants to drive there too. And we worked out the cost earlier, so that was £33.54. So let's add these together, which is £87.97. Compare the costs of the two ways to travel, which is cheaper, tick one, the train or the car. So the car that costs eighty-seven pounds ninety-seven pence and the train that was thirty-three pounds fifty-four pence. Obviously, £33.54 pence is much cheaper, so we're going to take the train. A youth club plans to hold a charity sale. People hire a table to sell things from. The youth club has these different size tables. Small table, £4.50. Large table, £9.50. A man wants to hire tables to cover a length of 4 metres. Which tables would be cheapest for him to hire? Give a reason for your answer. Use numbers to help you explain. So, if he hires small tables, he needs 4 metres. These are only 1 metre long, so he will need 4 of them. So what we're going to do is 4 times £4 pounds 50, which is 18 pounds. If he hires large tables, they are 2 meters long, so he will need 2 of them. So 2 times 9 pounds 50. which is 19 pounds. So it's cheaper to hire small table and the total cost is 18 pounds. The reason it is one pound cheaper Then hiring two large tables. A customer wants to buy a sofa that costs seven hundred and ninety nine pounds. He has five hundred and eighty pounds cash and these vouchers. Does the customer have enough money in cash and vouchers to pay for the sofa? Give a reason for your answer. Use numbers to help you. So, he has £580 in cash and 30, 30, 30, 30. So, five vouchers, £30 each, five times 30, which is £150. So all together, that's 
that gives us 730 pounds whereas the cost is 799 pounds so he doesn't have enough 799 if we take away 730 should give us how much more he needs so 700 and 99 take away 730 gives us 69 pounds so does a customer have enough we're going to say no he needs another 69 pounds A customer buys a bed, bed price £880. She must pay a quarter of the price today. She will pay the rest when the bed is delivered. How much will the customer pay today? So it's a quarter. Quarter looks like this. So we're going to divide 880 by 4. Which is 220. So she will pay £220 today. How much will the customer pay when the bed is delivered? So what we're going to do now is 880 take away 220. Which is six hundred and sixty pounds. A customer needs to buy some home accessories to go with her new furniture. She looks at the price list. Cushions four pounds ninety nine each, mirror twenty pounds, rug nineteen pounds ninety five, candle six pounds. Fruit bowl seventeen pounds forty five pence, photo frame eighteen pounds, clock four pounds fifty. She buys two cushions, a rug, candles and a clock. How much will the customer pay? Give units with your answer. So two cushions at four ninety nine each. So we'll do two times four ninety nine, which is nine ninety eight. A rug, which is nineteen pounds ninety five, candles six pounds, and a clock, which is four pounds fifty. Adding all of these together, gives us forty pounds forty three pence. The customer pays with a £50 note. How much change should she get? Show you working out. So we'll do 50 take away £40.43. Pence. That gives us £9.57. Pence. Use approximation to check your answer. So roughly. Roughly the amount was forty pounds. So forty pounds and forty three pence, that's about forty pounds. So we'll do fifty take away forty, that gives us ten. And that's very close to nine pounds fifty seven that we had there. So it shows we've done the calculation correctly. Hanif hopes to raise six hundred and fifty pounds from sponsors. He has raised £322.60 online and £247.85 in cash. How much more must he raise to reach 650 So we'll add first £322.60 and £247.85.
which gives us 570 pounds and 45 pence. Now 650, which is the goal, take away 570 pounds and 45 pence should give us the difference. Seventy nine pounds fifty five pence. And this is the end of the questions.